Doctors describe it as a ticking time bomb that can explode unexpectedly. Brain aneurysms impact up to 1 in 15 Americans and carry deadly consequences. But those who are fortunate to spot the warning signs early now have a new line of defense. Rebecca Gadbury lives a fairy tale life. Bright sunny day. Huh? Her family includes a devoted husband, Mark, and son, Kyle, who rarely leaves his mom's side. Because he does nice stuff to me. Suddenly, Rebecca's story changed. You just feel your world crashing in. First day, we were in shock, kind of numb. Second day, I think we cried all day. Rebecca found out she had an aneurysm, a bulging blood vessel in her brain. I had a bomb in my head that could go off at any minute. If an aneurysm ruptures, one-third of patients die immediately. Another third die within a month, and survivors may face neurological problems. And once it ruptures, it's, uh, it's, it's horrible. This computer software gets rid of some of the guessing and gives neurosurgeons a glimpse into the future. We can reconstruct 3D uh, aneurysms in a virtual space. The program simulates blood flow direction, speed, and friction in an aneurysm. The more friction, the greater chance for disaster. In Rebecca's case, the model predicted her aneurysm was in danger of bursting. It helped her make a decision to have surgery immediately. Hi! How are you? Good to see you. Six months later, Rebecca visits the doctor who saved her life and sees what could have happened in her brain. Right. That was mine. Yes, your Okay. Doctors say the software gives them more control. The more we know about the enemy, the the better part we can make. The Gadburys now have a second chance for a happy ending. And it's a success story instead of a horror story. Women between the ages of 35 and 60 are more likely to have a brain aneurysm than men. UCLA and George Mason University are the only centers using the software under a federal grant, but it will likely be available to all hospitals within the next two years. Fran?